everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Today I'm really excited to talk to you guys about the Yamaha 2024 255 XD model. So this is um, their highest end wakeboard series model with the 25 foot. Um, this also is the XD model, which is gonna have the drive control, which we'll get into when we see the dash, which is an awesome uh, new feature and upgrade for Yamaha. Um, and uh, basically the differentiation between the 255 XE and the 255 XD is the drive system. So that's going to be really the only difference between the two boats. Um, all the other features I'm going to talk about are going to apply to both the XE and the XD model. So uh, first off, just to kind of give you just a little bit of background on this boat, 25 foot wake series boat, um, uh, deep, wide, big. Um, you know, this, this boat is great for you know, a recreational, you know, wake user. So somebody who's recreational family, you know, out there, um, you know, wanting to get develop into the wakeboard market or wake, or wake surf market. Um, and then, you know, ultimately the other benefit of this boat being a deeper, bigger 25 is that, you know, if you have a rough water application, you want a wake surf boat, but you, you know, the inboard boats are maybe uh, not deep enough for you or don't have enough good ride quality in rough water, you know, this gives you that benefit as well. So uh, let's take a look inside. Okay, move inside uh, the transom area, the uh, 255 XD. A couple things I'll point out just because we're here and they're right in front of you. Uh, we've got the optional like grill that mounts to the table mount right there. Um, just kind of a cool little add-on that you can add. We also have this uh, rear sunshade, uh, which connects to the back of the bimini top. So that's an optional feature. Um, you know, we do have that huge bimini top with the little opening here in the middle that you can close or open as you need to. Um, you know, but this extra piece on the aft is an optional feature. Most everything else that you're going to see in this boat um, is going to be standard, including the wakeboard racks, um, the nice uh, tower speakers, light bar, or the tower speaker bar up there, the nice fixed tower is all part of the standard package on this boat. So um, a couple things on the transom, obviously uh, known for Yamaha, uh, this transom area. Um, on this model being a premium model, we're going to see speakers back here, upgraded speaker system. We have obviously the table mount, or in this case, the grill mount. Uh, we've got the transom remote stereo control, kind of like the backrest that we have down here. So if you're getting booted up um, on the lower level platform, uh, you got a nice little backrest right here. And then up here on the upper level of the rear platform, we've got the nice, real legit padded full seat, you know, so I can literally sit here for a long period of time and feel comfortable back here. This does remove out if you need it to. Um, if you wanted to uh, just make this just the standard matted floor, um, didn't need the cushion back here, you could do that. Um, I also like as I move inside the boat, um, we've got the walkthrough area. All right, so instead of having to step over my furniture, I've got the nice walkthrough area in here. Um, and then pretty cool, we do have some storage right here for you know ropes or bumpers, something easy to get to. Um, just a nice little storage compartment right there um, for that type of deal. Um, and then a uh, really cool feature, we've got the sliding rear seat. So if I want to maybe lounge out more facing backwards, I could slide that seat all the way there and kind of have more of a full lounge. Um, or if I want to be able to sit both directions, all right, sit one person here facing back, one person here facing forward. Uh, if we're at idle, um, you know, or it stopped, um, we can do that too. So. Uh, let's take a look inside the cockpit. Okay, moving inside the cockpit here. Um, first thing I'll talk about since I'm sitting right on top of the engines is that this boat, because it is a 255 designator, uh, that means that we've got the dual supercharged engines, all right, from Yamaha. Um, the 252 series is going to have uh, the non-supercharged engines. So that's the primary difference between a 252 and a 255. So uh, you want a little bit extra power, you run with the 255. Um, uh, you know, you're going to get pretty good performance, honestly, on both setups, but if you want that little extra, uh, definitely you can opt for the 255 model as opposed to the 252 model. Um, in this cockpit, obviously just a huge amount of space, um, plenty of amount of space for multiple people. Uh, you know, again, this is a 25 foot boat. However, most people, um, you know, they get in this boat, they feel, they see, it feels more like a 27 or 28 footer just because of the size. Um, you know, we've got, um, you know, subwoofers, speaker upgrades, galore going down in this boat. I'm not going to go through all the specs, but, um, you know, in general, just a ton of features and benefits to this boat. Um, there is a little uh, cushion that fills in this area here. There's a backrest if you wanted to fill that in. Um, one thing I like over here is we do have a kind of a cool little serving area, uh, a little storage compartment right here, which is kind of cool. And then if I want to make that serving area a little larger, pop this puppy out, 
and we've got a little bit larger serving area. So um, kind of a nice thing that you don't normally find on kind of wake series boats. Um, nice little table area uh, on the starboard side over there. Um, uh, and then we move into the driver's seat area. If I sit down, all right, this is where right now we're up in the bolstered position. Um, you know, but this is kind of where we see differences between the drive model um, and the standard model. So this is all new for 2024 is this drive X in this model. They brought it down from the 25 foot series. So basically, uh, long story short, and there's other videos that describe this way better than I could, but I'm just trying to keep it simple for you. These two paddles right here, all right, you put it in drive mode and these two paddles basically um, operate uh, reverse left, forward right, okay? But then if I wanted to move left and right, I can use these buttons right here, okay? So um, between the two paddles and, and moving left and right, and it's all at a slow speed. So, um, you know, it makes it, uh, you know, really, really easy to dock. There's actually a dock hold button that kind of keeps you in place as well. So um, again, look at the videos that specifically describe that, but um, bottom line is this boat's super, super easy to dock. I don't have to have one hand on my throttle and one hand trying to figure out what I'm doing here. It's all right here, real easy. I can steer a little bit, I can paddle, and it's really, really less stressful than maybe a mechanism where I'm trying to put it in forward, put it in reverse, that type of stuff. Don't have to worry about that. It's all clean, all nice right here. Other things we've got going on the dash, nice big, uh, large connect screen. Uh, you know, all my digital controls, my ballast control, stuff like that, it's all gonna be up there. Um, I can turn it into single lever mode for the um, throttle, and this is gonna be on all the X models um, in the 255 series have that single lever mode. Um, uh, so if I want to not worry about trying to sync up the two motors together, I can just literally use one throttle and do everything I need. The motors will auto sync together, uh, you know, by Yamaha. Nice wireless charger here. Um, you know, we've got speed controllers, we've got user profiles on here. There's all kinds of different um, benefits. And again, there's other videos that show that better. I'm just trying to get, get give you the idea of what we got going here on this boat. Um, so overall, awesome dash area, clean, nice, low profile, so I can still have good visibility above me. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a, just an awesome driving experience. Okay, I'm gonna get into uh, uh, storage here on this boat. Uh, we've got the big ski locker down here, which uh, does have a ballast bag, all right, but when you're not using the ballast bag or at the end of the day, you wanna put your wakeboards or, or skis down there, you can, um, you know, life jackets, stuff like that, you can just pile on top of the, the bag. So there is ballast in this boat. There's gonna be two bags in the back near the engines, plus the big bag back here. Um, so, you know, plenty of uh, extra ballast power. The other thing is unique about this boat with the drive system is it is, is gonna be all your surf characteristics, I didn't talk about this, is going to be controlled all the dash. You don't have to go back there and physically move anything. Um, everything's controlled up at the dash, the whole surf system, everything like that. Uh, on the port side, we've got the uh, uh, big storage compartment over here that could be used. We've got some cushions in there for the bow that's in there now, but it could be used as a head. Uh, could be used as a, uh, just a storage compartment you know, or an area for people to change their clothes, whatever you want to do. Um, in the bow area, just again, massive bow area. I really like on this premium model, we've got some upgraded stitching and stuff like that. You know, vinyl wrapped all the way around, uh, plenty of space, there's cushions to fill all this in. Um, you know, again, huge boat, uh, a lot of space. Um, you know, people can sit facing backwards if they want. We've got the boarding area, the anchor locker up there, um, so people can get on and off the boat from the bow and have a step down to the, to the cockpit really easily. Um, so just again, just a, a big feeling boat. Feels more like a 27 or 28 foot than it does a 25. Um, you know, really again, this is pretty much in that 25 foot boat. This is the premium Yamaha boat with the most features of any of their models. So um, definitely a little bit edgier, a little bit younger looking from a standpoint of the being a wake series model, but um, really all the luxury elements that you'd find on the non wake series model are also on this boat. Uh, but you have the added benefit of some of the wake, benef you know, wake series, the surf system, ballast, as well as um, some sound upgrades. So thanks for checking out the 255 XD with us at Buckeye Sports Center. Uh, for more information, visit our website, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the water.